This is the Multicharts.net editor. You can edit scripts directly from here, but it's a lot more convenient to write it in Visual Studio. All available studies are listed on the right. Scripts for all available strategies and indicators are located in this folder. By default, solutions are generated automatically for Visual Studio. You can open the appropriate one in Visual Studio. In this folder, files are automatically created and they contain scripts for indicators and strategies. The file name contains the name of the study plus the study type, either an indicator or a strategy. The extension is CS for a standard c -sharp file. I inserted the market depth on chart indicator and now we're going to edit it and see any changes immediately reflected on that chart. The first change we'll do is change spacing on the chart along the x-axis, so we'll move the indicator to the right. So I change 50 to 150 and compile the indicator. It's recalculating and the updated indicator is displayed on the chart. So now we want to edit from Visual Studio instead of the built-in editor. The advantage is that it has a professional IDE with a complete debugger. We click the Visual Studio button and the PL Studies project opens. We then open the same indicator in VS. Compare what kind of highlighting is available. Visual Studio provides more details to help you as a developer recommendations, potential errors, and refactoring are all way better in Visual Studio. So we have an indicator applied. Let's edit it in Visual Studio. The integration between VS and Multicharts is so complete that means you don't have to copy and paste or anything else like that. Simply work in Visual Studio and don't worry about anything else. For example, the volume profile is currently yellow. Let's say we want to make it white. So we made the changes and we don't even need to compile it to see them like you would in a normal project. Simply save your file and it'll be updated on your hard drive. Multicharts tracks these changes, picks up the new file, compiles it, and applies it to the chart in real time. The text in the editor is updated automatically as well. But we don't even have to use Visual Studio, we can use any other editor. For example, Notepad C++. Let's say we now want to change the volume color from white to cyan, and then save the file. Multicharts automatically picks up the changes and displays them. So you can use absolutely any editor and as you can see Visual Studio also picked up the changes and to reload the project. The key part here is that the CS project file tracks all studies we add to multicharts. If we create a new indicator or a strategy, the CS proj file is automatically changed and VS sees the new indicator. Once we reload the project, you can now edit the new indicator right away. 